Hello everybody, this is Matt with Technoax Royalty Free Music. This is an update to a video I made earlier this month regarding the bad practices of Believe Music, who was content ID claiming videos that were using my track Technopop 7B. I have a short answer to the situation and then a long story to tell afterwards. The short answer is that I believe that I've solved the situation and I'm no longer receiving complaints that videos that have used that track have, are being claimed by Believe Music. It seems that the number of complaints have dropped off to about zero now, so I'm hoping that the situation is resolved. However, I'm still keeping a close eye out for additional complaints that may come in. If your video has used that track, Technopop 7B, and it has been wrongfully claimed by Believe Music, please contact me as soon as possible so I can get the ball rolling on solving the issue again. If you have received a content ID match prior to two weeks ago, however, please go through the counter notification process to dispute your video or follow the process that I detailed out in the last video, which is linked below. Okay, so now that I have that out of the way, I have a story to tell. And this is not about Believe Music, but this is a story about YouTube and its content ID policies. A really glaring hypocrisy on how they handle content ID matches and copyright for us versus how they handle all that stuff for big companies like Believe Music. For context, I contacted YouTube Help about this issue. My hopes weren't exactly great on them being willing to help me on this issue. After all, they give you the same answer every time you try to question them on like false ID claims by a company like this. They don't get involved with content ID disputes. And that's exactly what they told me, twice in responses to my inquiry. Keep that in mind, okay? Because the way that I solved this issue regarding Technopop 7B is that I found the offending party's original videos on YouTube. These are the videos that were used to make the tracks to put into the Believe Content ID database. And so dealing with an unresponsive Believe music and no recourse whatsoever with YouTube, I did what I had to do. I DMCA'd those videos. A shot across the bow, if you will. The ultimate goal being to get the attention of the original artist who put my music in the Believe Music database. And once this was done, I could get them to remove the tracks from the Content ID database by contacting Believe Music themselves. And the process seemed to have worked. The DMCA went off without a hitch. The artist contacted me a couple days later, and in less than two weeks, the music was removed from Believe Music's Content ID database. So at this point, my issue with uh, the artists themselves is over. However, I made additional DMCAs against two videos. These were the audio tracks posted by Believe Music in the artist's name, which contained audio versions of the videos that I DMCA'd. These would be the same files that Believe Music used to post under the Content ID database, and therefore generate the false ID claims that you guys experienced. So I filed DMCA's against these videos, and the concept was the same. I was attempting to get their attention so they would contact me so we could solve the issue. But a funny thing happened to these DMCA's. Unlike the ones that I filed against the original videos, this met with some static from YouTube. We require a more detailed description of your copyrighted work. The content will remain live on YouTube until you have provided us with information. What? Do you remember that email from YouTube stating they don't mediate DMCAs and content ID disputes? What is this, YouTube? You're doing exactly that for this company. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll jump through your hoop, I guess. So I basically filed a formal takedown notice with all the information that they requested, including the ISRC number for Technopop 7B and also the timestamps on the videos that I'm DMCA where Technopop 7B is present. And boy, oh boy, did that work. No, it did not work. The content that is subject of your complaint was provided to us under license by a YouTube partner for use by YouTube as an art track. You can find the licensor's name in the video description where it says, Provided to YouTube by Believe SAS. 
Even if the licensor's name is unfamiliar to you, they may be a distributor or other authorized company who works for your label. When they provided us with the content, they asserted their right to distribute it on YouTube. For this reason, we will not be able to comply with your removal request. What the crap is this, YouTube? This is you mediating a DMCA. This is you mediating a DMCA right after you told me twice that you don't do this kind of thing. And the excuse that you give me for not implementing this DMCA is that it's an R track and they asserted their right to post it? What about the rights of my creators who posted videos using that track who asserted their right to use my music by following the CC 4.0 process like I detailed below in the description of my videos. And your assertion that somehow Believe Music is associated in any way with TuneCore or anything related to Technopop 7B is bunk. TuneCore, which is the only music distribution service that I use for Technopop 7B, has nothing to do with Believe Music. I can tell you that because I'm the original artist that produce Technopop 7B. And I contacted TuneCore to help me to solve the issue, but they were unable to help me as well because they have nothing to do with Believe Music. So your, your excuse is crap. It's utter garbage, YouTube. This is you sticking your neck out for a company, a company that has a reputation for falsely claiming other people's music. I'm not the only person here who's getting scammed by this. Did you not see the search results for Believe Music? Do you not see what a scam company this is? And there you have it, folks. YouTube does not give a flying crap about its creators or the people who basically put YouTube on the map as a platform. They're just willing to bend over backwards for these companies that basically hurt everything about the platform and just totally screw over the creators that are trying to just create videos and stuff. All right, so yeah, that's that's my rant against YouTube, I guess. Uh, sorry for the anger in that and the tone and everything like that, but that response right there just really got under my skin. And it really rubs me the wrong way about how they're willing to let these companies just trample over the rights of their creators. Uh, yet they, they sit there and mediate for the companies when they've already told you a million times over that they don't mediate for content ID disputes or DMCAs. That's that's the gist of it right there. YouTube, you suck. All right. All right. I got to I got to calm down uh, to the rest of you, uh, my users and my subscribers. I definitely appreciate your support, and uh, don't don't uh, take my anger as anger against you guys. I totally appreciate you guys, and um, I hope, if anything, this demonstrates my commitment and, and willingness to work for you guys to keep my music safe for you guys to use. You know, I'm totally on your guys' side, and please come back and, and and listen to the music I, I love it when you guys uh, comment and 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 basically appreciate the music that I do uh, thank you very much have a great have a great week